Hello and happy Monday. Right, I've been out all weekend and found sod all. A really, really bad weekend. I was videoing it. But you don't want to watch a video of me moaning for, for two days. So, I'll just have the couple of finds I did get onto today's, if I find anything today. And give you one longer video. Uh, right, let's move on. I'm desperate for this gold today. Um, and I think I'm going to find it here. So I shall see you at the first, the first hole. Hey, we have a musket ball. Very nice. There's a lot of junk around here, but I think a lot of it is very, very old junk. So hopefully I'll come across a few nice things. Well, I've no idea what that animal was. And I don't think I want to know. Beautiful. What is it I hear you ask? <laughs> well, I don't think it's a big silver coin, unfortunately. I thought it was a compact or something to start with, but it's not. It's literally just a round disc. Um, I'm guessing it's aluminium. We'll give it the silver test when we get home, but I don't think it is. It's not rusted. It must be aluminium. Very strange. Why would there just be a round disc of aluminium? Well, I was convinced that was a coin, but it's not. It's some kind of tag with a number three on it. I can't see any other writing on, just a number three. Is that my lucky number today? I was about to give up on this area, but uh, I've just found a coin. Five pence, 1924. And I'll tell you something, that is in beautiful condition for that length of time. I don't know, there's something about the coins from the 20s. Uh, 26, I seem to get a lot from 1926. But they're always in fantastic condition. Come on, a few more of them. A boot. Now that is my size. And I keep telling the girlfriend I need some metal detecting boots. Look, good condition. I'm going to search around see if I can find other one. I'm sure I could clean that up. Get in. Oh no, it's a bit bent. By the way, does anybody else have superstitions? Mine is when I'm putting my uh, coil, well, the bottom half on, I split it and put it in a bag, my metal detector. I always wind the coil wire anti clockwise because when it's anti clockwise, I always seem to find something that day. If I do it the other way, I find nothing. Just wondered if anyone else has similar similar superstitions. Okay, we have a coin. Ten pence from 1968. For some reason, all my coins seem to be 1968 or 1924, I think it is. Strange. When was the Summer of Love? 68 or 69? If it was 68, that's why there's so many coins on the floor that everyone would... Enjoying themselves rolling around in the forest. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's like a extremely old trowel of some kind. I'm presuming that's like the handle. You hold it there. But what it actually does, I don't know. To be honest, I'm more concerned at the moment. There was two wild boar. Um, one of them ran that way. The other one ran that way when they saw me. And I don't like splitting families of wild animals up. I did it with deer the other week. And I don't like uh, splitting them up. Another coin. One pence, 1942. Seriously, you don't... You can tell when it's a Second World War coin, as soon as you get it out of the ground, you don't have to look at the date. They're just absolutely battered. They must have been so short on metal during the war to have to make it out of this crap okay well I've not found anything like that before I'm guessing it's some kind of cartridge gun gun cartridge and it did I did see 195 so I think it's 1950 something but I was rubbing the muck away to try and uh, make it clearer and it actually rubbed the writing off <laughs> so I don't know what it said now 
Well, I think that's a 1950s cartridge, but very big one. I've not seen one like that. Another coin. Ten pence, 1968. I'm telling you, everyone was thinking Summer of Love, America, Woodstock, United Kingdom to a certain extent, but oh no, we're all kicking off in Germany. There's one person in Germany who didn't have sex and drop a coin in the forest near where I live. Get in. Another ten pence, 1971 this time. The summer of love's over, guys. Go back home. Go get a job. Stop being in the woods doing naughty things. A big block of squareness. Ah, oh, I don't know what it is, but how cute. If I was a big circle, that's what I'd want my baby circle to look like. Beautiful little thing. Five pence, 1943. Battered. Look at the state of that. Nice. I was so, so close to not digging that because the signal was jumping all over the place. But my first, uh, what I can only guess, is a pocket knife. A very nice looking pocket knife. Very rusty on the blades and everything inside, I'm sure, but... Hopefully this is a a 1940s one. But I don't want to clean it up too much. I don't want to try and pull anything out till I get home. Excellent. I'm happy I came out now. As long as I find one thing, I'm happy. And that is my find of the day. Mwah. Come on. One Deutsch Mark. 19... Uh, where are we? 1963. Very good. It's a coin spill, guys. Ten pence. You'll never guess the year. Yes, 1968. We know what you are doing. We know what you are doing. Same hole. Five pence. 1968. God, I hope he enjoyed himself. Cost him a fortune. Well, I was being very, very careful digging that in case it was a bomb. Uh, but I think it's turned out to just be a shovel. A very big shovel. A very old, very big shovel. That was down a good foot. Whew, can't take that home. It, how the hell you could dig with that? I don't know. It weighs a ton. Right, I really thought that was a bomb. It still could be a bomb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it is, though. I don't know. Maybe it is a bomb. I don't know. I tried to be careful digging that up anyway. Um, but I'm just going to rebury it. Very, very, very heavy. But I don't think it is a bomb. I don't know. Is it a bomb? You tell me. And just heading back to the car, we find a pigeon racing ring from the year I was born, 19... <coughs> <coughs> OK, time for the round-up. <coughs> Very little shrapnel today. The last three days, should I say. Uh, just a bit of junk there, not much. Uh, God knows what this is. Any ideas on that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, some handle. That could be a buckle, believe it or not. It's absolutely huge. But there is a, a knob thing there, as if it might, it might be a buckle. Um, and just various bits of God knows what. Just bits of junk, really. That's a big piece of lead. <clears throat> I, li I do like that. I don't know what it is. It's made out of bronze. I've I think that's quite old. Some For some reason, some huge aluminium disc. No writing on, no nothing. Don't know what that's for. 
That I'm presuming is off a fridge or something, just like instruction, model, uh, product information. Uh, various cartridges. I think they're all cartridges anyway. Some of them might not be. Uh, they might be something else. I don't know. Uh, a few bullets and cartridges. A musket ball. Mm, a couple of little press studs. Uh, pigeon racing pigeon ring from 19. <coughs> and a pen knife. Very happy with that. Needs cleaning up. Um, girlfriend isn't that impressed with it. She says there were hundreds of them round in communist times, but I like it. My first pocket knife. Uh, some kind of tag with a number three on it. And then coins, uh, ten coins I think I've got there. Just quickly run through them. Ten pence, 1971. Five pence, 1968. Ten pence, 1968. Three of them. One mark, 1962, uh, 1963. Five pence from 19... I'm lost now. 1942. Uh, one pence from 1942, five pence from 1924, and one pence from 1911. So that's, oh, and a pen, I found a pen. <laughs> so that's your lot. Um, out tomorrow for a full day, so hopefully something a bit better for you.